Hey guys, in this episode I'm going to show you how you can do some configurations for Voyager and also kind of how the Voyager routing works. So let's go ahead and jump in and check it out. Okay, so after installing Voyager, we can then open up the application and we can go into config and we will have a new file called voyager.php. And this is where we can modify some of the configurations. And I'm just going to kind of go through each one of these with you. So the user config, we can basically add a default role when a user is registered. And the default role that we are going to assign them is going to be the user role. And then we have admin permission. And this is the permission that a user needs to have in order to view the back end of the admin. And then we can also specify the namespace if we have a different namespace for our user. And then down here we have a controller config. So maybe we want to override all of the controllers and we want to add some custom functionality. We can then specify a new namespace here and that'll be the namespace used for all of your Voyager functionality. And then here we have the asset path and you may wish to change the asset path if say you are maybe in a subdirectory. You can change where the absolute path is going to be for all of the Voyager assets. And then we have the storage and you can specify a subfolder if you would like. So here we have a public folder, but you could have any other kind of subfolder that you would like inside of your storage. And lastly, we have a database config so you can specify which database tables you want to hide from the backend. So maybe certain things like the data types or the data rows or any kind of settings tables that you have that you don't want to show in the Voyager admin, you can choose to hide them by adding the names of the tables to this array. And one thing that I also do want to add is I know if we go to the front end of our site, we can see that we actually do not have our login and register because by default, Voyager does not add the authentication scaffolding. So if you would like to add that, we could simply then go ahead and just run PHP artisan make auth. And that will add all of the authentication scaffolding for us. So if we run PHP artisan serve again, and we go back to the front end, and now we have the home and I'm already logged in. But let me go ahead and log out. You can see if we go home, now we have the login and the register. So once a user registers, they will then automatically register and have a role of the user that we specified in the config. And next we want to talk about the route. So once you have installed Voyager, and you go into your routes and your web.php, you will see that you actually have a new route in here, which is called route group prefix, and that is prefixed by admin, and then you have all the Voyager routes. So this is actually where all of the Voyager routes are being specified, and you can change the order of them, or you could even change the prefix. So maybe you want this to be backend. So if we save that, and now we go here to backend, then you can see that instead of it being admin, to get to Voyager, you would then go to the backend. So let's go ahead and just change this back to admin. And I'm going to log in with my admin again. And now that we've logged in, I'm going to go ahead and create a new table and kind of show you how you would specify where your routes are going to be by specifying the bread for that table. So I'm just going to go ahead and go in here to tools and then database and I'm going to click on create new table. And this is going to be pretty simple. I'm just going to give it a string and we'll just call this name and I'll just call this table products and I'll say sure create the model for me, add the timestamps and I will create a new table. So now we see that the successfully created products table is going to be right down here. So I can click on this. And sure enough, we have that table created. And now if I go back into my text editor and I go into my app folder, we also see a new file called products. So this was the model that was created. And then if I go back here, we can go ahead and add some bread to this table. So let's go ahead and try this out. Now if I add some bread to this table, then I can specify where I want each of these rows to be displayed. So we want it to be displayed with the browse whenever you read it, whenever you edit it, add or delete. So I just want this to have a text box and timestamp. Everything looks good just the way it is. So now I need to go down here and I need to specify where the model name is 
And it was actually created at app slash products. So if I go back here, the name of this is actually products. So I need to change that to products. And everything looks good from there. I maybe want to add an icon so I can just say Voyager dash bag. And you can click on this right here and you can see all of the icons that you can use throughout the Voyager admin. So then let's go ahead and create bread for this table. So now that that bread has been created, we can go here and we can see that we can now edit the bread or delete the bread, but we don't see how to get to it from anywhere in the app. So what we could do is inside of this product, if we scroll down to the bottom, we will actually see that we have a slug name and we've specified the slug to be products. So we can actually visit admin slash products and you'll probably get an error. And what you need to do is you actually need to go back and you need to specify that the admin has permissions to view this new product. So we can go back in here to roles and then we can say that we want to edit the admin and we can scroll down and then we see all the products here. So we want the admin to have all permissions to the product. So we can click on submit. And now if we go to admin slash products, then sure enough, now we can view that bread. So right now we are currently viewing the browse. Then I can go ahead and click on add new. And what we could do is we could specify this to be in our admin menu. So we could have a products button over here and that will be added via the menu builder, which we'll have in a future tutorial. So whenever you create a new bread type, you always specify a slug and then that will always be at admin slash products. Or if you change the prefix, it might be backend slash products and make sure whenever you add the bread to also add the permissions as well. And that's just a quick run through on configurations and routing with Voyager.